Hey, amigo. I found something. Drop by when you can. Okay. I'll be right there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 meters, turn right. Hola, hola! Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes! I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well. Copper Canyon is a wonder of Mexico. There used to be six separate rivers which came together to create the landscape that we're seeing now. Four times larger than the Grand Canyon, covering 25,000 square miles. <laughs> oh, and the green color in the rock is why it got that name, Copper. Get pictures here. In the book, Lady Sydney's expedition makes camp here, but that's just a fun story. Yeah, the book talks about setting up camp on an island and finding the statue in the afternoon light. It would have been about this time of day.
That is increíble. How has no one ever found this before? Hola, amigo. According to the book, there is a statue at El Arco de Cabo San Lucas. Wolverstone said she found it at sunset, but I thought we could try an experiment. I've worked out where the book says the statue should be. Yeah, around mid-morning and see what we can find. Or the other option is we get to El Arco just as the sun sets. If you believe the story, that's when we'll find the statue. From here, we will reach El Arco just as the sun sets, if you believe the story. Okay, we'll check out El Arco de Cabo San Lucas and see if it matches the book. Let's get there fast. <laughs> you read my mind. Arc looking out across the Pacific in the warm light of the setting sun. Hmm, I don't 
don't see it. Huh. Well, let's get some lunch and try back later in the day. Oh, I told you that was the best place to eat around here. Was I wrong? I okay. We need to get going. Can you get us to the beach before the sun sets? You mean outrun the sun? Yep, I think I can do that. Even with the extra helping of Tres Leches. There it is, right in the sun where the book said. Grab a picture of it. Right, that is freaking me out. It's right there. How did we miss it? The shadows were really deep just here earlier. Maybe we just didn't see it? But now I really want to see if we can find any more of these mysterious statues. Hola, amigo. I've been reading the diary over and over. I think Lady Sydney's exposition came inland, but I no sé, no sé, it's hard to find the evidence. arrived at your destination. Okay, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela, and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as fictional as Pedro Baramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true? Her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, to Muleje. Let's go. 
We can start in the center of town and move outwards. Always forget how beautiful Muleje is. A ver, a ver. Uh, let's get shots around here while we search. People have lived here for thousands of years because of the water and the fishing, and well, <laughs> now tourism too. <gasps> Lady Sydney must have camped on the south edge of the river. I, a ver. Can you see anything? Wow, there it is, just there in the trees. How did I never see this before? I've raced this road a hundred times and never seen it either. Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues were only visible on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, okay? <laughs> 